Hello, people of the internet. My name is Johnny, and welcome back to Five Nights with... Welcome back to Mac Tonight. If you notice, in episode two, I was actually behind a few updates. That's because I had recorded it a few days earlier. But now, they've changed the classic mode screen, and they've made the nights easier. Instead of having, I think it was like a minute 45 an hour when you have three characters three characters on at the same time, I think it's only 45, which is very, very helpful for me because having a minute 45 an hour is just absolute torture. But today, we are adding Ronald McDonald to the roster, and I believe he's kind of like Mac tonight, right? Yeah. Ronald can only access the doorway to your right office, to, to your right side of the office. Like Mac tonight, use the speakers and Mac's stage camera to lure him there. Due to no eyes, hearing is his only way to help him move around. So he's basically just like Mac tonight. Yeah, so I believe he's just like Mac tonight. And is it shift? Yeah, it's shift. Okay, I guess let's have a look for Ronald then. Not quite sure where he could be. Um, I don't see him. I wonder, I wonder if he's going to be sound activated. Because they did say that he can only hear because he has no eyes. So maybe once I start making some noise later in the night, he'll spawn. But I'm not sure. It is a very interesting mechanic. Just hearing. No... No seeing. It's strange. Anyways, there's Mac tonight. He's getting pretty close to the office, but not there quite yet. Usually what I like to do is talk my way through the first um, attempt at the night. Look, guys, it's already 1 a.m. I would probably be at like 12.30 if it was still what it was originally in the other update. Which, by the way, I'm sorry for being out of date in episode 2. I just wanted to, I like pre-recording videos so that I don't have the stress of like, alright, today I have to upload a video, because I like to get one out at least about every, uh, about every other day, so I like having no stress on me. Alright, there's the Hamburglar. He's getting, well, he's j he just spawned in now, so he's going to start making his way over to Cam 7. Nope, it's Cam 8. Okay, it's kind of peaceful right now. 2 a.m., no sign of Ronald. And again, the Hamburglar is now only one camera away from his intended... Oh, God! <laughs> that would have been bad if I kept just staring at the Hamburglar, because, um... Mac tonight's right there. Alright, so now the Hamburglar is in his designated camera, and he's going to start making his way into the vent very, very soon. Um, and I just got rid of Mac tonight, so I shouldn't have to worry about him for a little bit. So I'm just going to stay on this camera, because I'm going to need to turn on, turn on the heater pretty soon for the Hamburglar. Alright, let's wait. There he is. Got him. Now... Alright, I'm guessing that's Ronald. Maybe? Yes. There he is. Okay. So because I used the heater, which made noise, Ronald spawned in. And it's probably like 3.30 right now. Oh god. There we go. It's actually 4. So he doesn't spawn in until like maybe 3.50 about just because I use the heater at that time so he probably isn't gonna be that bad in later nights with more characters because he doesn't spawn in until much later in the night then again the nights do get um, gradually longer each time so he will become more act well he'll become active very very soon all right so where is he now oh god is that him that's him! Back him up. It's now five. We're doing very, very well for our first attempt. 
think it's just because Ronald mechanic. It's basically just a, uh, ooh, okay, he's about to go in the vent. There he goes. It's basically the same thing as Max Knight, except he can't come through the window. What is that? I didn't trust that, I didn't trust that sound, so I'm just gonna do both those. I know they both have cooldowns, but I think, I think we've done this. I think we should slowly start to see 6am appear on the screen right now. Okay, never mind. Okay. There we go! And we unlocked a new character. Is it going to be Grimace? Because I've been calling him ever since episode one, maybe? Alright. It is Grimace. Oh my god. So he's non-hostile. Due to his plumpness, it is hard for him to fit into the office to attack. Instead, he tries to sabotage the player's defenses, either disabling the vent or the speakers. Whichever room he's in, you must use the other mechanic to lure him away and reset him. Grimace is as well hard to see in the dark due to his dark purple body, which requires some sharp sight to see him properly. Alright, alright. I got him. I feel like we can do this maybe on our first or second attempt. Because all I have to do is, if I see him in the show stage, or, well, just the Max Knight stage, then all I have to do is go to Camp 8 and lure him back to there. And, you know, vice versa. So I don't think this is going to be that difficult. It's now bumped up to 55 seconds an hour the night. So, we're going to be here just like 10 seconds. No, about a minute longer. So, here we go. It's It's got pretty, pretty close to a minute an hour. So now I gotta try and talk my way through like a six minute night. All right, yeah, so we got that. Where is he now? I believe he just spawns out on camp eight, yeah. Okay, he didn't, he didn't leave. Am I gonna get some sort of audio cue for when he's like messing around with the vent? Cause he's in here, but he's not leaving. Am I doing something wrong? Am I missing something? Maybe he's just not activated yet, and that's just where he spawns. Maybe I'll see him, like, messing around with this pipe or something. No, oh, he's still there. So, what the heck? <laughs> Grimace is still not moving. It's strange. Oh, wait. Okay, no, we just got the Hamburglar. Alright. So we gotta keep an eye out for him now, which... Oh boy, it is 2 a.m. though, so we are doing pretty, pretty good. Nope. Grimma still doesn't want to move. And the Hamburglow is getting pretty, pretty close to that vent. So I'm just gonna chill out here until I hear his sound. There he is. Awesome. I heard a noise, and I think that might be Grimace activating. Oh god, I clicked off the game. But it wasn't. Oh! So that's when I do it. Oh, okay, I get it. So once he's, like, in my face in the camera... Yeah, so once he's in my face when he's in that camera... Oh, that was not the right thing to do. Oh, god... Calm down there. Calm down. I did not mean to hit that. <laughs> yeah, so once he's in my face, then I hit it. But he still hasn't moved. Oh, never mind. Right on cue there, Grimace. Okay, let me... Click. Oh. Okay. So I can't use that when he's in the room. Interesting. Yeah, so once Grimace is in the show stage area, I have to get him immediately out, because I can't use the speaker when he's in there. Interesting. All right, let me get back to about where I was. Done. Whoa. There we go. So now Ronald is activated? Maybe, question mark? 
Maybe? Probably not. Okay, no. It's two. Which is pretty good. So, Hamburglar is now active. I think Ronald only spawns when I use the heater. Maybe not. I believe that's him spawning. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, so he's here now. I gotta use the heater soon. So let me just wait. There. Okay. And that's Grimace. Alright. Uh, run up there. Grimace. Kind of just hanging out. I may have to start stop talking at one point. Because now I have to focus on a lot more cameras than I'm used to. So, if I end up going quiet at some point, you know why. I'm kind of just waiting for him to move. Was that it? No? Okay, that's just Hamburglar. Ronald should be coming soon, though. I don't want to... I don't want to look, because he gives me audio cues. Alright, there we go. That's how I do it. Here we go. Nice. Alright. So Grimace isn't that bad. You just gotta look out for him in the one camera. Cam 8. Uh, we're good for Mac. There we go. So is he gonna get angry again, Grimace? Nope. We're good. Okay, I haven't seen Mac in a while, so I have a feeling he may come pretty soon. Here we go. They gotta be on some sort of, like, team here. Because Grimace activates, and if I don't get him in time, I can't get Mac tonight. What was that? Was that just Grimace? Uh, so many noises in the game. This strategy actually isn't that bad. Just switching back and forth between looking at the window for Mac and then just switching in between these two cams. Cam 8 and Cam 9. Okay. Also, um, whenever Mac or Ronald comes th through the door, they make a noise. So, you don't really have to look out for the door. There we go. Didn't get to see who that was, but it doesn't matter. We are getting pretty close to six. I think it just turned five, maybe like 10 seconds ago. So we got about 40 seconds left. So Grimace is gonna activate soon. There we go. This is getting a lot more difficult, I'll say that, but it doesn't matter, we've freaking done it. This is Wimpy Claps. <laughs> Who is the next character we unlocked? Captain Crook. I don't even know who that is. I just know these, um, these four. Captain Crook starts in the corner room camera and will progress through the building towards the window to the left side of the office. Unlike Mac, Crook presents... Precedes his... Uh, I cannot talk. It doesn't matter. He has a parrot. Once you hear it, missed up the window to block the view, a parrot will then be heard again to trigger he's gone. That's not that bad. I, I do want to give it an attempt in the video. We've only been going for um, 18 minutes. My OBS says I've only been going for 18 minutes, 58 seconds. So I do want to give this at least one go. Because he's just like Mac when he's at the window, so he's not that bad. The night has now been bumped up to an, a minute and five seconds an hour. Which is just over six minutes. But, I do want to give this a go. He doesn't seem like that bad of a character. And, who knows, we might even be able to do it. That would be awesome. Then we'd only have two more characters left, and that would probably be saved for at least one or two more episodes of this. I, I really do enjoy this game. It's always good to go back to classic FNAF-styled games. As fun as it is to do games like Five Nights at Freddy's and The Joy of Creation, it's nice to just once in a while sit down, be in your office with your cameras and your doors and your spray can 
and just return to the classic FNAF style. Really, um, really gives you nostalgia, especially the fact that the anniversary, the fifth anniversary of FNAF, is in just under a month. As of recording this, it's July 15th, and the anniversary is August 8th, so we're getting pretty close. Get excited for that five hour live stream. Hamburglar's here, and it is, what time is it? It's one, it's probably about to turn two, maybe 10 seconds. We're doing pretty good, I haven't seen Captain Crook at all. Oh. Must have been Mac, and now Ronald is gonna activate. I'm not sure when the Crook activates. I'm not sure if he starts off the night activated, or if just like Ronald, he's activated by sound. Though, it is 2 a.m., and I haven't seen him once. Alright, I think that's the Crook. If I had to get. Okay, if I had to guess, I would think that that is the crook. Alright, um... Okay, okay, okay. He's about to go into the vent. Who the freak is that? Oh, it's Mac. Get him. Do you think Mac and the crook can be in the... Can be at the camera at the same time? That'd be, f <laughs> that'd be weird to see. Like, the crook's on this side, Max on that side. Oh, is that him? Oh, nice. All right, let me actually focus on <laughs> the characters and get Grimace back over there. The freak was that sound? That wasn't the pirate guy, Captain Crook. So, something that's useful, though, is that I will hear his parrot when he's at the window. So I don't have to constantly be checking the window for him. Even though I do have to check it for Mac. Oh, jeez. Okay, we're good. Uh, he's about to go into the vent. I gotta sneeze. <coughs> no one kill me. Oh, jeez. Am I good? I'm good. Alright, let me... Okay, we're good. Oh, God. That could have been the deadliest sneeze ever. I literally got could have gotten killed for that. I think is that just the crook getting closer to me? All right, it's 4 a.m. and he ha he hasn't been in the <laughs> yes. Just... <laughs> when he says the bottle. It just reminds me of Doodle Bob. That's all I can think of. Just the me ah gagaboy. <laughs> you doodle me SpongeBob. That's all I can think of when I hear the hamburger talk. That's all I can think of. <laughs> oh, sorry. Was that? That's not a parrot. Does he appear in the window? I don't even know. I'm just gonna be quiet from now on so I can hear the parrot sound. Oh. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, I pressed that. That's difficult. You really gotta get that timing right. Oh, that's it. Wow, that takes a takes a while for him to leave. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. This is getting very, di very, very difficult. Grimace, I think, is the real problem. Because when he's up in the camera, oh god. Because when he's up in the camera, I have to hit the. The speaker. And sometimes Mac or Ronald could be in the door, at, like, right after that. And then I can't do anything. Because it needs to, uh, recharge. A speaker needs to recharge. 
because that makes sense. Okay. I'm gonna go a bit quiet here, because we're getting pretty close. Don't go in the van. No, we're good. Vent, thank you. Yes! Yes! <laughs> Alright, I... God. This is getting really, really difficult, boys. I'm not gonna lie. Who did we unlock for the next episode? We got... Spe <laughs> Speedy! Speedy's mechanic is rather unique, comparing it to the other character... Uh, to the other characters. Like, to Remastered. Oh, God. Oh, wait, no. Like, to Remastered, once in the office, there was no getting him out. So when he's outside the office, he holds a code shown towards the camera. Open your command prompt and em enter the code given, which will reset him. Doing it wrong will make him enter. What? I have a code prompt? What the freak? I don't even know what that is, but it's fine because I have to worry about that. In the next episode, I've been recording for about 41 minutes now. So thank everyone so much for watching. Thank Mac Five Nights with Mac tonight, episode three, I believe, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.